It's pretty amazing to uh, think of what it looked like here uh, 144 years ago. These are the charred remains of the Butte Creek Mill. The heart of the whole mill, of course, is over here where the uh, millstones are. Nobody knows the history once held within these blackened walls better than the mill's owner, Bob Russell. It's, it's pretty awesome when you see all the little marks from the axes that they used. You also can appreciate uh, a strong structure even after this fire it's in pretty good shape. Going on 145 years old, the Butte Creek Mill was a testament to the pioneer spirit, hand-hewn lumber put together with handmade square nails. The Butte Creek Mill was the centerpiece of Eagle Point until the fire on Christmas morning of 2015. Now, I just lived across the street, so it was a few steps away, and I came down the stairs Christmas morning at 412 and uh, could see the flames, and it was, of course, it just ripped my heart out. 412 a.m., an electrical fire spread quickly throughout the mill, torching the structure and the history it held within. We had, by about 9.30 Christmas morning, we had a couple hundred people out front here crying. And you had to stand way across the street because it was so hot, uh, you could feel it uh, from 50 feet away. For many, the mill was more than just an old building. <laughs> For John Vate and his grandsons, it was part of the family. It was kind of sad. It was kind of, because I used to get ice cream and it was quite hard to not be able to after I walked back from the pole. Vade is a firefighter for Fire District 3, his home right across the street from where the mill once stood. It was really hard to, to not be able to do anything because I didn't have anything that I could, I didn't have my protective gear, I couldn't do anything. It, um, you know, I, so I just stood there with the rest of the people. And while he couldn't help save the mill that day, he is part of the effort to return it to its former glory. What an awesome opportunity to, to be able to rebuild it the way it's going to look and make it back into a community center, make it back into a hub, make it back into an attraction. An effort that has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars and support for a new mill, just like the old one. I can close my eyes at night and picture myself walking into this building and seeing the hand-hewn timbers and the planks and everything is going to be identical. In Eagle Point, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News.